बबीता जी अरे वाह अच्छा सगुन हुआ बबीता जी जी कैसे हो आप बस जी रहे आप अयर भाई बबीता जी अयर भाई बबीता जी अयर भाई बबीता जी शांति अयर भाई जरा शांति से बात करो क्या शांति रखू सो हाउ वॉज द गेम इंटरेस्टिंग राइट दिस गेम वॉज इंस्पायर्ड बाई अ पॉपुलर टीवी शो इन इंडिया बट द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज पाई गेम पाई गेम इज अ सेट ऑफ पाइथन मॉड्यूल्स डिजाइन फॉर राइटिंग वीडियो गेम्स पाई गेम एड फंक्शनैलिटी ऑन टॉप ऑफ द एक्सिलेंट एस डी एल लाइब्रेरी दिस अलाउज यू टू क्रिएट फुल्ली फीचर गेम्स एंड मल्टी मीडिया प्रोग्राम्स इन पाइथन लैंग्वेज It is one of the great method to learn a new programming language. Always try to pick up small, easy, and exciting projects which will give you hands-on practice. And while doing this, you can learn the concept too. The Pygame framework includes several modules with functions for drawing graphics, playing sounds, handling mouse inputs, and other things that you will need while developing games in Python. Before jumping on to the code explanation, first let's see how we can differentiate between the layers. In this case we have two different layers one is the background and other is the layer which consists of the objects I have provided a link to GitHub repo where you can find all the materials used to develop this game you can download and follow along with the explanation For any game we have following elements which should be taken care concept elements and objects scoring and difficulty levels The concept for this game is simple. It is like one of those old fashioned games where you are moving a character sideways to avoid the incoming obstacles. The elements and objects include the background and two kinds of objects. One is the player whom you will be controlling and other is the enemy object against whom you will play to achieve an objective. For this kind of game scoring is easy. The plan is to increase the score point by 1 every time the player beats the enemy. You can plan to add the difficulty levels. In this game we are increasing the speed variable of the game by 2. So now we have set up the base of our game. Let's start the coding. First thing first, we have set up a little common logic for the game. This includes importing our main pygame modules. After this we have to initialize the pygame, setting frames for the game. For this game we will set our FPS to 60. After this we will create a few basic color codes which we will use in our game. Next is the frame window for our game which is 400 pixel width and 600 pixel height with a basic speed for the game to 5. And this next section will make the game window go live with the windows caption. For the next section we have to put objects. First we will create a class for enemy object. In this class we will initialize the enemy object by using an image at which point we need to display the object and a rectangle for the object to use with the collision logic. The get rectangle function creates a rectangle of specified size. In our example we have created a rectangle of width 50 and length 80 as the body of a sprite. A sprite is a two dimensional image that is a part of the larger graphical scene. Make sure the image and rectangle are of the same size as there will be a issue during collision detection. Next function is to define how we want our enemy to move on the screen. It first calls the move IP function. The move IP takes two parameters, the first representing the distance to be moved in x direction and the second the distance to be moved in y direction. This will be moving the enemy object down by 10 pixels. Next it checks if the top of the enemy has reached the end of the screen if true it resets it back to the top of the screen and at a random location on x axis next is our player class similar to the enemy we have to initialize this also we will attach an image of our player to the function and also defines the size of the rectangle we need to create for this player for collision to work Unlike the movement of the enemy which will be controlled by our logic we want to give the movement controls for the player to the actual user in this case we will use arrow keys to control our player the two if statements ensure that the player isn't able to move off screen as you have noticed for both enemy and player we have used classes the benefit of using classes here is that we can spawn multiple entities from the same block of code 
Now this doesn't really apply to the player class since most of the games will only have one player but it does apply to the enemy class as most games will have multiple enemies. In this section we have created groups for our sprites. A sprite group is sort of like a classification, it's much easier to deal with. We have created two groups, one called enemy and the other called all sprites. To add a sprite to a group, you just have to use the add function. Next to increase the difficulty, we use the pygame time module set timer function to call the increase speed event every one second. Before moving to the next section, let's discuss the game loop. The game loop is where all the game event occurs, update and get drawn to the screen. Once the initial setup and initialization of variable is out of the way, the game loop begins, where the program keeps looping over and over until an event type quit occurs. It's merely a concept, not some kind of a special syntax or a function to be called. Our game loop should include a logic for quitting the game and updating. Since games are constantly changing values, the update function is in the game loop constantly updating. In the game loop, we will cycle through all the events occurring in our game, from speed increase to moving objects on the surface, collision of the objects to directly quitting a game. Out of this, the main logic is the collision for the game. In our case, it checks to see whether our player has collided with any of the sprites in the enemy's group. The benefit of this function is that even if there are thousand enemy sprites, we don't have to check collision with them individually and instead just use this function. Finally, the collision holds true. We will kill all the sprites using the kill function, fill the screen with thread, wait for some time and close the entire program. After all this, just add the scoring logic to increment every time our player passes the enemy, add a little background music and special effects and our game is ready to launch. Bobita ji! Oh yeah! Oh, it's a good one. Bobita ji! Hi, Jisha ji. How are you? I'm just living. Hey, brother. Bobita ji! Hey, brother. Bobita ji! शांति अयर भाई जरा शांति से बात करो क्या शांति रखू स्टिल देर आर अदर एरिया ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट इन दिस गेम यू कैन ट्राई एडिंग लाइक टू द प्लेयर और एड फ्यू रिवॉर्ड आफ्टर रीचिंग अ सर्टन स्कोर एंड मच मोर लॉजिक बेस्ड ऑन योर इमेजिनेशन Remember this is coding you can achieve it if you can imagine it and work on it I hope you have enjoyed building this game as much as I have please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel drop your suggestions in the comment section below follow me on twitter and instagram for behind the scenes dm me on instagram if you want to be a part of my next video i'll see you in the next video next week till then stay safe and keep learning